Hey guys, so this video is a wee bit different. We're doing a lot of the Virgin v Chad memes, but like D&D fantasy inspired. So, and let us know down below if you enjoy this because we can also do a 40k version, which I know you guys like. So, um, let's get into the video. The Virgin Marshal. Can't see in the dark, but gets away with it because DM forgot. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Every time. Dumped mental ability scores, doesn't participate in roleplay, gets bored and runs into combat. I don't know, I don't know. Be honest with you, being a paladin can be a lot of fun being the face of the party. Yeah. Has to shell out his life savings to reach optimal AC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Only deals one of three damage types. No meaningful difference between them. Monsters always resist his attacks. <laughs> <laughs> Just a regular human who is strong. No other redeemable traits. Makes noises wherever he goes. Constantly lets party down when he feels a stealth check. <laughs> Look, don't expect him to don't expect him to be doing much, right? Has to multi-class to keep up. Ends up as a blend of competing concepts. Took great weapon master, thinking he would do a lot of damage, but misses half the time. I know that pain. <laughs> Constantly looking for magic items to grant him small numeric bonuses. <laughs> Don't call me out like this, right, guys? I'm... <laughs> Doesn't gain new abilities as he levels up. Just does the same attack twice. Requires feats to function, resulting in low stats. Only character with strength has to carry everything for the party. Constantly forgets classes' abilities. Chose class because the DM thought it would be easy to play. Don't call me like that, okay? <laughs> Look, I like my martial classes. I like my martial classes. I think they're a lot of fun, but I do... I, I, you know, it is one of those ones. I do love paladins. Yeah. And paladins may as well be a hybrid. Yeah. They are a hybrid. The Chad Caster. Gains interesting and unique spells at every level. Has more options at level 1 than the martial has at level 20. Selects spells to fit with his theme and backstory. Could be fighting naked... Where's clothes for aesthetics? <laughs> Party looks to him when something unexpected occurs. Always has a solution. Take that sage background, boy. <laughs> Can reach any location in the multiverse using spells. Walks because he knows restraint. Stick with the one class all the way through. Spells deal damage even if the enemy passes the save. Doesn't need magic items. Takes them anyways and doesn't use them. Locks down the most powerful enemies relaxes as his party hacks away at them. Just as useful outside of combat, can solve any problem with a single spell. Doesn't need feats. Pads out his lower stats to become a more well-rounded character. Deals more damage in the first round than the martial deals in the whole encounter. Mental stats make him just as useful in social encounters as in combat. Look, <laughs> fuck you guys. That's all I can say. I, I do play both, but... I can never play a caster because I always forget what spells I have. Does this mean it fulfills the... This does this mean it's true then? Yeah, but you it's play also... Because yeah. Only brainlets play yes, and classes. it's also that I always forget to write shit down. <laughs> yeah. I never bring a pencil. <laughs> I know, it's okay. The Virgin Rogue versus the Chad Bard. Anime slash emo spiky hair. But, but I already used my bonus action to hide. Dresses in all black, unironically, thinks it makes him look cooler. Dump strength, spindly boy of soy. <laughs> <laughs> true. It's fucking true, though, guys. Could be great at any skill. Picks stealth or sleight of hand. Unimaginative, studded, leather strap armour. The face when no boots of elven kind. <laughs> Wait, but you need the bits of elven kind. They're so fucking good. Orphaned, kleptoma <laughs> kleptomaniac. Worse than Drizzt's clones. Being of DMs and players. Why, why do you DMs hate rogues so much? No, I think it, it's not rogues. I think it's just the stereotypical... The people that are attracted rogue. to rogues, like me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to say it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Has a heart attack when he takes damage. Yes. Has an aneurysm when he can't hide. <laughs> That's fucking true, though. <laughs> I roll for stealth. No, you can't. I've already seen you. No, but I roll. No, roll but I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm ducking behind the table, guys, okay? <laughs> I, look, I've, I've got a lost line of sight. Come on, give me, give me, go on, go on. Come on. Useless all black cape. Yeah, why, why with a cape? Capes are cool, okay? <laughs> okay. Short daggers match a short <laughs> dick. <laughs> <laughs> You 
just went quiet. Look, look, I, I, I don't use doggers. Doggers are gay, right? I use, I use, my short, no, I use my rapier, my short sword offhand, <laughs> and I did definitely not have to multiclass to achieve that. <laughs> Only kills are kill steals. Fuck the party. Fucks the party, chat yeah. part. <laughs> yeah. Ostentatious garb never worries about stealth because it always works out. Golden codpiece to assert dominance on his foes. Uses wordplay and insults the cast spells. I actually do really enjoy that vicious mockery. I wish more people used it. Yeah. And I wish more people would be more creative with vicious mockery. Because, to be honest, whenever you're in a fight, anyway... You use vicious mockery. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that's amazing. So it's like it it makes it realer. Yeah. What 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 type of damage does vicious mockery do? Is it psychic damage? It should be psychic damage. Like every your remember. mom joke that comes out should yeah. be worth something. Yeah. Inspires DM and party. Good at everything. Travels with an entourage of friends and admirers. Uses long sword and rapiers like a true gentleman. That's <laughs> not what she just said. Yeah, that's what I use, yeah. No, you, you use short swords. No, I use a leap your main hand and then a short sword me off. You're not as based. <laughs> Gets three instruments for free. Could have taken any skill in the game. Takes performance. Finally quaffed flexes on the rogue with prestidigitation. <laughs> Chiseled jawline for optimal oritation. I can hardly see fucking Orion laughing at me. <laughs> Fuck you, Orion. You big gay ass half elf. <laughs> Got no leg to stand on. Your versus the Chad Gobby. <laughs> Level one virgin Mary Sue Rogue. Hood to hide face. Doesn't bring anything to session. Only uses dual daggers. Never interacts socially. Takes perks he'll never use. More belts than soul <laughs> bad guy. No, no. More belts than what do you call the guy? Johnny Wiseau. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen he, his belts? Yes. <laughs> Takes all items he finds and doesn't tell anyone. You. No, I... No, I... When, when do I ever steal for my own self? Actually, I've... No, not mind, actually, no. I forgot. <laughs> Think Never about mind. what you say, Jim. Yeah. Black leather. Constantly angry that DM doesn't succeed all of his rules. Thinks genes exist without asking DM. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I, I really do need to make a juggle load with Janko jeans. <laughs> with extra gene belts. <laughs> <laughs> Never any stop below 10. Runs off solo. Only wears grey and black. That's you, IRL. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look, I, look, I wear a lot of grey. It reflects my emotion, right? <laughs> Thinks he dies because of everyone else's fault. Chaotic neutral. Always human with a dark past. Looks like he does, IRL. <laughs> <laughs> Look, okay, so I think it's safe to establish that, yes, it is indeed, rogues are in fact virgins. But you play rogue? But I play a cool rogue. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Yeah, because Gobby's fun, alright? Gobby's fun to hang around with, right? Okay. <laughs> like, Gobby gets up to all types of hijinks, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Gobby's a great guy, okay. right? Here, you can't say anything. You tried to throw me into a sphere of annihilation. I wanted to see what it did. <laughs> I didn't got, know what it done. You got no leg like, to stand on. Level 20 Chad, Godslayer Barbarian. Always brings food and drinks to sessions. Shares magic weapons with who uses it best. Asks DM to give more strength for less intelligence. <laughs> True hero. Uses great axe, fists and clubs. 20 strength, 8 dex, 20 constitution, 5 intelligence, 10 wisdom and 20 charisma. As it should be. <laughs> give all his treasure to an orphanage for baby animals. All his perks plays off his strengths. Comes up with cool ideas with DM for campaigns. Stands up in front of his allies and shields the party. Role plays with his character and his party members. Gets all the hot elf girls. No, I don't think so. If I'm, <laughs> no, I, 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 I doubt that. <laughs> any any, any diehard orc player I've met. <laughs> no. Made his legend known through hard work. Handsome half-orc barbarian. Never argues with the party. That sounds like Jonathan. Is this Jonathan or is this every character that Jonathan's ever played? played. <laughs> it's an amalgamation. Okay, it's, it's either an orc or warforged. And it, if the strength's below, what, 16? Yeah, why bother? Why bother playing? <laughs> Although, come to think of it, his longest character he had gone was a dex build paladin and he hated it. Yeah. It did also cut his he, he got a vorpal sword that oh, was cursed. Cut his head off. Yeah, yeah, if I remember correctly. Hey guys, do you like models in your tabletop role playing games? 
Because we do too. Do you like having big bitty waifus on your table? Because we do too. (laughs) (laughs) We got human bitties. We got lizard bitties. We got orc bitties. Oni bitties. Cat bussies. We've got everything you want at (laughs) neckbeardia.co.uk. Check the links down below. It helps us out a lot. Sorry for interrupting the video. Let's get on the story. The Virgin World Builder. Once his setting to be deep, thinks that publishers will care about his book and people will buy it. Geographically conscious. Insecure. Embarrassed to talk about his hobby. Girls think he's weird. Post text walls and world building general. <laughs> <laughs> Listens to ambient and traditional music. Expensive tablet and programs. Dual colours reflect his personality. Actively avoids tropes and tries to make his setting unique. Reads books. Sits in bad posture for hours. Drinks tea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to have to call a garb goof for this. I knew you were going to say that! I'm going to call a garb goof for his listens to ambient and traditional yes. music. <laughs> I mean, as soon as I see... <laughs> <laughs> Expensive a... tablet and programs Yeah. <laughs> And Garb who does love his channels. Yes. The Chad Forger of Worlds would crash the market if he ever published. Unfortunately, he only world builds for fun. Wants his setting to be fun. Finishes his setting in four hours. Doesn't know what geography means. <laughs> this, is- this is actually more like Garb, to be honest with you. <laughs> American, does know geography. Somehow gets everything done within a matter of like 20 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Listens to look at Torelli. And Rhapsody of Fire. No idea what that is. Posts his work on Facebook. Girls think he's <laughs> Garb creative. uses Facebook. <laughs> Girls thinks he's creative. Only posts in world building general to critique others. <laughs> Prefers MS paint and crayons. <laughs> Sips energy drinks. No, that should be uh, Monster Zero. Yeah. Like a tweeper really is. Borrows ideas for maximum efficiency. World build standing up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What does that even mean? <laughs> Uses bright colours to maximise impact. So which one's Garbo? <laughs> what, what one? I think it's a mixture of both. Amalgamation. Definitely an amalgamation yeah. of the both. But Garbo's pretty good at it as well, Belden. So oh, I'll he's him, really yeah, good. Yeah. Go get his book. Check out his book. Link yeah, actually. Trophy. Yeah, check it out down below. I identify with this one before we even get into this one. I... Look, like the version of look, the I, don't, look, I love my history. I'm really into my history. But fantasy and history are different things, things yeah. right, guys? Yeah. Can we please you just can, agree on this? You can bend it slightly. You can still have fun in bikini-armoured, fucking ridiculously over-the-top, Monster Hunter-style swords. Yeah. Maybe not the anime-style Maybe, swords, yeah. but you get what I'm going for. The virgin historically accurate medieval soldier. Crude helmet, best he could afford. Used as a meat shield by his liege. Needs a shield because he can't deal with arrows. Gets scrapped in battle. Dies three days later of infection. How miserable would life be? Weird virgin shoes. <laughs> yes, Megan. Yeah, Megan's been trying to get me to wear these fucking peasant shoes no, for ages. I haven't. And I've been calling them peasant shoes for years. Right? I haven't. Been, Look, James, you know what this the is? The last Megan, time I asked you to wear Megan, shoes I got was like 2013. Megan, this is the Chad Nick Errors <laughs> versus the virgin peasant shoes. <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> Not wearing your fucking peasant cheese. I cheeks. don't want you to wear peasant cheese. <laughs> they are peasant cheese, guys. Even if he wins the battle, he has to go back to labouring to death after. Girly tights. Weapon is a short stick with a metal bit in the end. To be fair, spears are pretty bulger. Spears are good. Spears are cool, right? Can look, he... look, look, just, just look at that pike formation. Come on, guys. Just oh, here look, he goes. Just look at the pike formation, guys. Can't even afford a cool sword. The best armour he could afford is just a very thick baggy jacket. <laughs> look, <laughs> <Where's>... <laughs> look, Gambeson or cool guy. <laughs> Wears a cap under the helmet because it hurts his head. The Chad medieval fiction portrayal. Almost dies in battle but then remembers his friends, wife, family and suddenly recovers. Kills everyone. As it should be. <laughs> cool unique weapon with a name. Obtained from a magical man. Knows he will win at the end since he's the main character. Tactical groin protection. Doesn't care that his fantasy armour design doesn't protect efficiently. It looks cool. And that's what makes him fierce. Exactly. 
obtains immensely expensive armour easily without expense. Armour is several centuries advanced past the time period. No need for a helmet. Exactly. He's got to, look, if you don't, people need to see your face. <laughs> And yeah, your look, luscious golden locks. What, like, it's proven in movies, if you're faceless or you're not a named character, you, you just die. Yeah. Like, don't even, just give up. See if you wake up one day and you see a live leak video above your head, give up. <laughs> that doesn't actually matter if you're wearing a helmet or not, but it definitely does affect you <laughs> if you work in China. <laughs> okay. The virgin quirky character. Role play inspired by D&D memes. <laughs> Why would you play X when you can play a grung mystic? Oh, not the mystic. Are mystics still a thing? I haven't I, heard of a mystic in a while. Yeah, I don't know if they're still a thing. Can't wait for their character to fucking die so he can play something else. <laughs> 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 Thinks that low stats automatically make your character better. Tries to adopt every NPC, even though the party already has like 15 followers. Look, don't call me out like that, guys. <laughs> All right. You are a human IRL already, though. I hate that argument. Doesn't have a tragic backstory because dead parents are so cliche. Is actually secretly super horny, but denies it because horny bard equals bad. Gets seriously mad if anyone who doesn't play a barbarian dumps intelligence. Honestly, I think everyone dumps intelligence if you're not using it. Blame the DM for not being as good as that person. (laughs) (laughs) The Chad Horny Bard. Roleplay inspired by great books and novels cool character bro gets attached to his character has 18 charisma on every character so it's easier for him to get in character tries to shag every NPC succeeds (laughs) embraces the 12d12 dragon dick damage and enjoys it doesn't have a tragic backstory because his character is fun grabbing pussy in the character's nature Dumps intelligence because books are for nerds. Exactly, guys. <laughs> it's super chill about everything the DM does. The thad human fighter. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Roleplay inspired by life experiences. I see you spent a lot of time working on your character's backstory. King. King. Yeah. <laughs> Plays out an amazingly touching character arc. Has high stats so he can have as much fun in combat as he does in roleplay. As a way it should be. Respects that every NPC has a certain place in the story. Doesn't mind being called basic. Understands that it's a misconception. Has a tragic backstory because heroes are made by tragedy. Yeah, actually, that's, yeah. One, of, that's one of the best. If you look at most heroes, yeah, they they have some sort of tragedy in their life. Yeah. Most characters are happily married. Dumps intelligence because his character comes from a poor background and wasn't educated. Which I think most fighters should be anyway. Well, it depends. If you're playing like a paladin or a noble background, then, you know. Well, yeah. Works with a DM to create an amazing D&D experience. I like the thought. The lad murder hobo. Yeah! <laughs> Doesn't roleplay because roleplay is for <laughs> fucking nerds. <laughs> I'd totally bang your character if she was real. Every character he plays is basically the same one. Gets 20 in everything or else. Murders everyone who doesn't immediately <laughs> praise him. Feeds off hate. His parents are dead because he killed them. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dumps intelligence because wizard is weak for multi-classes. Makes every DM he plays with chronically depressed. <laughs> <laughs> I think I identify with that last one. Yes. That's that, only that last post. That last <laughs> one. Yeah. Yeah. So... Who do you guys think? Who do you identify with? What would be your go-to Chad class? Yeah. Versus the Virgin whatever class? Write them right down below. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say, okay, well, let's go for this. I do really like Artificers, but Wizards are cooler. Yeah. So, see, I just, uh, I just I'm, have I, a I, for dwarves. I'm not a big fan. You know, the one class I really don't see myself ever genuinely playing is probably a Monk, just because I just don't feel like they fit any... Yeah, I, I get it. In, in any set I play I in, it. I just don't feel like, oh yeah, Monk feels right at home in, in, in this, this setting. Yeah, it just yeah, no, it, it feels very 
shoehorned in. I know a lot of you guys are going to be, oh, monks are cool. It's like, yeah, okay, I get it. You can't be really cool. If you want to play as, like, a fucking knockoff Goku, I go think ahead and play knockoff Goku. Setting, though, and, yeah. Oh, oh, well, and how you play it. Well, anyway, look, as I'm saying, just tell us your ones down yes, below. Let us know down below. And while you're down there, check out the link to the website to all the models, the t shirts, the subglasses, all that good shit. Check out Garbro's book, it'll be down there too. Also, also, if you enjoyed this, we could do a 40k one of this. Oh, yeah. Virgin V Chad, which I've got tons of them saved. Yeah. Which, so. But hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.